you could add a 10-minute picture study on Mondays, then take two or three minutes to read a poem on Tuesdays, and spend 10 minutes or so doing a music study on Wednesdays, learn a handicraft on Thursdays, and go outside for nature study on Fridays. You won't get the full benefits of a complete Charlotte Mason education, but anything you can do to feed your student's mind and heart in this way will contribute to her growth as a person. Plus, if you offer a wide variety of subjects, you might awaken in your student an interest that she didn't know she had, an interest in music, in art, in a particular handicraft or art medium, or in a certain poet. So if you can't do everything in a Charlotte Mason way, try to at least offer a generous feast and see what your student might be drawn toward.